hello 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 welcome to the channel this is Alfred as you could see we have here with us the real-time clock application so this is the real-time data from our uh, from our clock here's what the data logger look like looks pretty nice it mounts on top of your Arduino Uno Here's the XD card, kind of like a hard disk for your data. And here's a header for the pins, you know, very nice. And there, that's the battery to keep track of your time whenever, even if you pl unplug your Arduino from the power source. And here's a gently, you want to gently mount it on your Arduino Uno. Be very careful when mounting it so that everything goes into the appropriate pin. Looks it's in there. Now you are ready to plug it in and um, write some code with it. so that's exactly what we are showing here so this is what the application looks like now let's close out of this serial monitor and look at the code this this code is essentially gotten from this example um so when you go to example then go all the way to rtc lib if you do not have RTC lib on your computer you want to go to tools and you want to go to manage library when you it needs to update your list when you get there just type in RTC on RTC lib I guess Then you can install install this. So now I have I already have it installed. As you can see here, it says installed. So I can update it if I want. So go ahead and install it. Then go to file, go to example, go to RTC example. Then you want to select your type of device. So I, as you could see, I had the very old uh, RTC. A board which is this guy is it's quite one of the older old older version so and according to the statement they had let's see so according to the other fruit um, documentation here so if you have depending on the board you have you want to select the example code um, so the one that I have does not have PCF 8523 so this is newer this particular board is newer than my child so what I did was I needed to use this example here so that this is how to determine what um, chip code that I have what um, chip um, RTC that I have so this this is what I have DS1307 so let's go back to the example so you when you go to file so go to the RTC example so here's the ex here's the DS1307 so this is the shield that I have the um, the chip that is running the shield that I have so you want to click here to get the example but um this 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 is essentially a a cleaned out example um, I clean it out and removed some some extra um, extra things they had in there that I didn't want to show on in this video so looking into this example code you could see that our setup code it does set up the serial uh, so this is just a serial print set up the baud rate for the serial print 
and um, then it checks if RTC. So this is RTC. This is where we define our, our our chip RTC chip. So it checks if our RTC is running. So if the RTC is already running. I'm sorry if if it's not running so this sign this exclamation mark means not it's an operator for not so if it's not running then it will run this code this code so as you can see I have it commented because mine is already configured so for you if this is the first time you are running your code you want to uncomment this guy actually you probably want to use this um, the only caveat to using this one is you want to make sure that your time your computer time is correct your computer time is what you want your um, real-time clock to um, be calibrated with so if so as soon as you uncommit this then you are ready to run this uh, exam you run this example code and it will automatically calibrate your Arduino but if you have already let me comment this back on so if you have already um, calibrated yours before so this is the first after the first time of calibration then you the code will always run the, this this guy right here so let's say for example let's let's um calibrate let, let's recalibrate uh so um i noticed that right now i just commented so i don't want uh, the arduino to calibrate the um the shield with the computer's time which is which i know is correct so, right so let's use this and the possibly uh sorry <laughs> let's use so this is RTC then we want to adjust the time so let's set the real-time clock back to uh, I don't know let's set it back to say 2020 2020 and let's say that the time is uh, 12 12 zero so mm, now we can so essentially right now we are about to um, calibrate this very incorrectly right so you can al always use this to calibrate with your com com computers and time then you can use this to manually uh, calibrate it based on whatever time you want it to be so let's go ahead and upload it all right all right so now if we check okay remember your board rate might say um, the default which is 96 board but you want to select the 57600 board rate so as you can see now our time is 2020 and this about 12 <laughs> 12 now which is what we calibrated it with so right so now what we want to do is comment this out then we want to calibrate it with our computer time right so let's go ahead and upload it once more all right so now when we monitor the serial serial monitor as you could see we are back to our current time which is 2021 April 13th and the time is 2 uh, 2 a.m. and the uh, 8 minutes sorry five, 7 minutes and the seconds is also showing the seconds here so right now we are at 8 minutes so let's go ahead and pull out our internet time once more so if we pull let's go ahead and put it right here just to show you that you know this, this is correct although you can already show you can already see that our timestamp from the computer is about the same as our as our RTC time and our internet time is also quite the same um, it looks like we are running a little bit a couple seconds be, below 
um, uh, slower, but um, it will, you know, right now it's at 8 minutes to 2, 8 minutes after 2, so now we should be about the same, and it will just be a couple seconds. Yeah, so this is 9 minutes after 2, 9 minutes after 2 on the internet time. So looks good, right? Um, that's essentially it, and our loop is essentially, you know, this is a time, date time, and we read the RTC now. So this actually reads the uh, um, the time from the RTC. This is how to read it, and uh, show you displaying it. We want to do serial print and display the year, month, and day, and that's it. Then we delay for about five, three seconds. Then we we'll loop again and read it again and show it and show it. So this is pretty easy. This is pretty self-explanatory. This is just us displaying it in the serial port in the serial monitor, which is essentially this. Um, and that's it. So let me know if um, if this was helpful. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this type of video, go ahead and subscribe and I will be, you know, you'll be getting notification and uh, getting every single time that I upload a new video about stuff like this. All right. Thank you. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.